Hello everybody! Today's part 2 of my Bite Beauty lipstick um, swatches and review. As you know, Bite Beauty is a wonderful formula. Today I'll be talking about their matte crayons. Their matte crayons is one of my favorite matte formulas out on the market today. Um, and I've purchased multiple, multiple, multiple colors and I've used up quite a few of them. This is currently what I have in my little vault for Bite Beauty lipsticks. And I would argue that they cover most of what is available in their permanent lineup. I want to show you those and I want to run you through who is the particular color is going to suit the most. We'll start with Leche. This is a precious little pinky nude and probably will look absolutely the best on the palest of the pale. If you have pale, cooler undertone in your skin, I think this is a great color for you if you like those light nudes. Um, I think on medium and darker skin tones that might lo look a little out of place potentially, unless that's the look you're going for, but probably the fairest and the lightest complexions are going to benefit the most from using this color. Um, next color is Glacé. This is a cool toned, slightly darker nude. I enjoy this one. It has a purpley lilac undertone. That is kind of what looks pretty good on my light skin tone. Um, I can imagine medium skin tones pulling that off with not much problem. There's a little bit of white pigment in that particular lipstick as well, so I do think that it might potentially make darker skin tones look a little ashy wearing it. So I would actually direct you towards another color in terms of your nudes. Um, this one is a really good universal color. This is Amaretto. I'm using this color a lot and I'm using it on my lips and on my cheeks actively. This is a peachy nude that is going to look good good on the fair, the mediums, and potentially the dark skin tones as well, unless you're really, really deep, that, then you might want to step down to something a little bit darker than that even. This is quite a universal color. I think will look good on any skin tone. Probably will look the best on slightly warmer to neutral undertones. Um, cooler undertones might struggle with this. I do need to have a good amount of makeup on me. However, I am neutral to cool and this looks, and I think this looks fairly flattering on me, so actually quite a universal little nude color Amaretto is. Then we have Sucre. Uh, Sucre is a medium toned nudie pink that will look good on most skin tones as well. Probably, and because it's reasonably neutral, it's not super cool, it's not super warm, any skin undertone can pull that one off for sure. Blood Orange is our next pick, and it is more of a coral, I would say. I don't think it's orange, really. I think it's a coral. It's a very bright coral with a bit of a neon quality to it. It's not a neon lipstick, but it's fairly bright. Um, I think a really good summer pick for basically anybody. If you love a really bright lipstick, this is very, very much a bright lipstick that is going to liven your complexion. Um, would recommend for anybody who likes that type of a shade. Then we have Tatin. This particular lipstick is a cooler pink. I think people with cooler complexions will probably enjoy it more. I'm thinking probably somebody with a cooler complexion will enjoy this uh, because it is a cooler color. So it is not going to pull any yellow out of your skin. Um, if you are very olive or very yellow, you might find this to be too pink for you. Um, and I would go for something more neutral or even warm. Next color we have here is Pesh. This is what you should go for if you have a warmer undertone. This is fairly neutral, leaning, leaning warm kind of color. Um, it's very flattering and I think this particular color is so medium in every way that it's going to look good on absolutely every skin tone and every undertone. However, if you're warm undertoned, I think this pulls a little warm, so you might really find this to be quite a flattering shade on your skin tone. Next we have Pink Lady. Pink Lady is a very interesting um, shade. It is a bright, almost neon, very bright pink. And Pink Lady is really a drink that some doctors will use, especially in emergency situations, to sort of diagnostically see 
if um, the abdominal pain is heartburn or not and to get rid of that abdominal pain um, you can mix up a cocktail called Pink Lady, which is a bit of Pepto-Bismol, a bit of lidocaine. Um, I'm sure nurses put something else in there, but those are the two ingredients I most care about. Um, and really, it looks like this color, <laughs> quite honestly. So this gives me like work flashbacks. However, Pink Lady is a very, very bright pink. I think will suit cooler undertones a little bit easier. Um, however, if you're a lover of neons, then pop pop that baby on. It's quite it's quite bright and out there. Um, a good summer color. I think you might find yourself needing a bit more concealer if you are very yellow toned because it might highlight things in your complexion that you don't want highlighted. Next we have framboise, uh, which is raspberry. Raspberry, well, I'm not sure if it's particularly raspberry toned. This is purple toned dark pink so yes it is on the cool side if you have cooler undertones it will uh, be easier to wear but it is a slightly darker version I think very medium tone so very very easy to pull off for any skin tone uh, next is fries which is strawberry this is very neutral so anybody will be able to pull that off very easily it's a strawberry red is what it is really and uh, very very easy to pull off I think an easy gift as well because not many people will find this color unflattering it's very very universal Next we have red velvet. Red velvet is an amazing color. It's a bomb color. I think also one of those very neutral smack down in the middle tones that is going to look good on any skin color and absolutely any undertone. Uh, it's just one of those really, really flattering colors that looks good on everybody for sure. Next color is Brandy. Brandy is the same exact family as the Red Velvet, but a little bit cooler. Uh, I think still very wearable by anybody. They, to me, carry a very similar role and create a very similar effect on the face. But if you're a little bit more cool toned, I would probably go towards uh, Brandy um, because you might find that that's slightly more flattering. However, Red Velvet, I think will look good on everybody. Next color is Rose Hip. Rose hip is a very nice red color. It's pretty bright red. Um, it's pretty neutral as well. Kind of sits right in the middle of the warm and cool undertone spectrum. So I think good for any skin tone, good for any skin undertone. Will work just fine for everybody. And then we have uh, Aubergine. Now that color is a very rich beautiful purple and really I think very vampy color on fair and light skin tones can look interesting on medium skin tones and definitely if you have a darker skin tone I would go for one of those beautiful richly pigmented purples because um, depending on what undertone you are obviously you select according to your undertone this is probably for cooler and very very dark skin tones that is delicious that is going to do very good things to make your skin look really really um, flatter very very good color um, to flatter the richest most chocolatey skin tones as well and it'll pop quite a bit because against very dark skin tone this will look like a brighter dark color just a very very delicious color i would recommend for well basically anybody if you want to make a statement um pastille is the next color we have here this is another one of those not as not as popping as aubergine but another one of those darker neutrals that is going to suit absolutely everybody from the fairest to the darkest from the warmest to the coolest this is a fantastic medium smack in the middle color again by beauty are very good about introducing these colors to their collection um slightly taupey slightly mauvey just a beautiful beautiful shade again this one as well will suit absolutely every skin tone absolutely every skin undertone cognac is a color that looks terrible on people of my complexion so really really fair people unless you want to make a 90s crazy grunge statement this is not the most flattering shade uh, medium tones if eh, medium tones well can't probably pull it off 
darker skin tones are going to look gorgeous with this color on. This is super flattering on somebody with slightly warmer skin undertone. Anybody with a dark skin tone with neutral to warm undertone I think will benefit from having color like that in their collection because this is a very very beautiful neutral slightly with a warmer undertone um, very nice brown. Then we're going on to truffle. Truffle is even darker than aubergine. This, if you want a blackened cherry, <laughs> this is what this is. This is a blackened cherry. It's really, really rich and pigmented and dark. Again, I'm going to say similar things as I said about aubergine. If you're the deepest skin tone, this is the color you wanna go for because this will look stunning on your skin tone and this particular shade is going to make your, your teeth look absolutely glowing white. Um, for lighter complexions like myself, obviously this is going to be a super statement lip, really vampy, almost gothic look. Um, so not the most flattering for me specifically, but I think medium skin tones can pull it off as a vampy, vampy lip. Very light skin tones and, and fair skin tones are probably gonna look fairly ed ed editorial um, and a little bit, you know, Transylvanian <laughs> with this type of a color and darker skin tones are going to absolutely look glowing and beautiful with that type of a color. It sits well, it wears well. What can I say? Especially, I think, if you're darkest and deepest of the skin tones, um, this is an amazing color for you. I would totally go for that. The last color that we have here is a modifier to me. Obviously not wearable for most people on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a white. It's called Blanc. This is a straight-up white. It looks awful worn by itself on basically every skin tone because we're not meant to have white lips at all. Uh, however, the interest in this color is the fact that you can really work with it to make a three-dimensional um, effect on your lips so putting it in the center of the lip for instance is going to really plump it up and create a 3d uh, picture a 3d shading of your lips which is kind of cool to do sometimes if you want to use that shading technique um, if you're a lover of pastels you can basically take any bright lipstick and make it a very pretty pastel if that's what you're into um, so the white is fun to have i wouldn't repurchase it i don't think because i don't think that I do enough with my lipsticks to justify having a whole shading color basically that isn't wearable on its own. So um, let me know if you found a color that you really enjoy or if you found a shade that you might be interested in or if you are using these shades what is your favorite and whether I have it or not I still want to know which color is your absolute must-have. Uh, I hope it was fun for you to watch, um, leave me any feedback if you have any. That's it for today, see you guys later, have a wonderful day, good luck, and bye-bye. Uh,